Tonight at 9, a father and son are recovering from burns tonight after their boat exploded. My goodness, it happened around this time last night at Barber Marina. Now that's on Intracoastal Waterway in Alberta. Fox 10 News Baldwin County reporter Will Robinson-Smith is following the story tonight. He is live outside USA Medical Center where the father and son are being treated. Will, tell us, how are they doing? Well, guys, uh, what I've been told from neighbors and from officials is that they uh, were both put in the ICU. They had burns to about 20% of their bodies each. It was a very scary situation, understandably so, uh, last night when their boat exploded not once, but at least twice. Uh, the boat is powered by gasoline, and there was some propane around. The propane, we were told, did not go off, but it was still just a horrifying experience that robbed them of their home. Take a look. Jesus. A chilling reality for one Alberta family last night as captured by a neighbor's cell phone. The explosion on this 1986 Concorde literally shook the marina. We just finished eating dinner and we were watching TV and we heard a loud boom, a very loud boom and it shook our boat. And my husband immediately got up and stepped out the door and he disappeared. And then the next thing I know, here comes um, Brian into our boat. Brian is the 14-year-old son of Mike Basco, the boat's owner. The boat, which both men called home, is now a total loss. Tried to put out the flames that we could see and then it, it definitely was getting out of control and Brian was already off the boat and he was kind of running around on the dock in shock and Mike was coming out of the cabin of the boat. I don't know where he was prior to that but it appeared that that was his first time out of the boat after the explosion. Sounds like a classic air fuel mixture, gasoline being what it is. It's uh, just uh, one of those things you have to be real careful with around the boat. Quick action by Stodd and her neighbors helped save the surrounding boats, except for some minor damage to one boat's window. Josephine Fire Department was fantastic. They all came out here and they responded so quickly it felt like they were here in 15 minutes or less. Brian was life flighted from the marina to USA Medical Center. His father was taken to South Baldwin Medical Center before he was also life flighted to USA as well. Now they have to heal from a fire that took their health and home. Just sending our prayers out for the family, you know, that they'll be all, all okay and healed up because boats can be replaced, people cannot. Yeah, and like Denise was saying, they could really use some prayers tonight as they go through their treatment. Uh, now, we'll have a phone number on our website, fox10tv.com, where you can offer any donations because, like I said, the, they did live on this boat. This was their home, and as you saw in the video, it was a total loss. So if you'd like to make a donation, head over to our website, fox10tv.com, and we'll check in with the family later to see how they're doing, and hopefully they get back on their feet soon. For now, reporting at USA Medical Center, I'm Will Robinson-Smith for Fox 10 News. Thanks, Will. Deputies in Louisiana are still looking for a mobile woman.